It's a beautiful day. The windows are open. The sun is shining. I took the day off of work today because it was driving me crazy and I'm going to play so much Monkey Island and I am excited. Let's get to it. <laughs> so I mentioned that I was excited to get back in it. However, I realize that the next 15 or so minutes of this game are going to be very boring um, because I've already explored all the obvious stuff and I haven't really progressed so I'm gonna um, spend some time revisiting all of the locations and seeing if there's anything that I missed and that's just gonna take time. I'm probably gonna edit all of it out so I will let you know when something exciting happens. <laughs> All right, he's walked out, so I'm gonna walk in to- oh, he's too close. Too close. Nice. All right, we're in the kitchen. Um, let's look at the hunk of meat. Can I pick it up? Beautiful. Um, walk- look at pot of stew. It is boiling hot. Uh, look at the barrel. I'm a little worried that the cook's gonna come back in. Balagrog. Um, look at the table. Um, so now I have a hunk of meat. I can give that- ooh, I can try giving that to the piranha dogs. Let's see if we can pick up the fish. Um, I mean, I can give the fish- give the hunk of meat to the- Okay, so there's a bird. Um, let's try closing the door. No, um, close the fish. Uh, look at the fish. It's a red herring. <laughs> That's so stupid and I love it. Um, okay. So I can't give the hunk of meat to the bird because the bird's not interactive. Um, and there's something I can do kind of on the dock. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one be then, and then- oh, wait. I would need to get a mug in order to get the grog. Okay, so I'm going to take this meat over to the piranha dogs, and then we're gonna try to get into the governor's mansion, governor's mansion and see if we can progress from there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I also want to try going this way, but I doubt there's gonna be anything interesting. This is interesting. There's a path over there, but I want to talk to um, the lookout first and see if there was anything interesting to talk about. There's a lot of interesting things. Um, I'm looking for fun. Seen any? Yikes! You almost scared me to death. I thought you were a... Never mind. What did you say your name was again? Call me Squinky. <laughs> Um, I'll just tell my name. I'm Guybrush Three Boy. I came to Melee Island, trademark, because I want to be a pirate. Well, you picked the right place for it. Though perhaps the wrong time. Not to mention the wrong name. Oh, I think Guybrush Three Boy's a great name. You have the silliest name I've heard in a long time. The heck is wrong with Guybrush Three Boy? Don't even look at the other options. I just have a bone to pick. Nothing if you want to sell shoes. You want to be a pirate boy? Take my advice. Change your name. Something like Dreadbeard or Six Fingered Pete. Call me Squeaky. <laughs> you just said that you were gibberish driftwood or something like that. Guybrush Threepwood. Sure, whatever. Who are you? I don't care if you're looking at me. I'm the lookout of Melee Island. Trademark. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships and report them directly to the governor. That's what a lookout would do. She doesn't like unexpected visitors. Especially not now. That's... I don't know how I didn't put that together. Um, how did she get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? I'm not quick on the update sometimes. Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. Another great name. Why is she worried about unexpected visitors, though? So what have to do with a LeChuck? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. LeChuck. One pirate captain in particular. 
I did one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. I think that would make him more dangerous. Um, I'm over here, though. Eh? Okay, bye. <laughs> but I wanted to ask him what's green and hairy and has a thousand legs. Let's talk to him again. Listen, I'm sort of busy right now. I'll talk to you later. I'm doing fine. Walk to path. What is up here? Oh my goodness gracious me. There's a clearing. There's a nothing. There's an island. And there's lights. Let's see if we can- oh my god, we can go to these places. There is so much more to explore than I ever thought. I was feeling very stuck, and now I'm feeling much less stuck. No caffeine. Um, okay, what do we got here? Just walk over there and hope for the best. Ooh. Oh, the circus. That's what that freaking poster was talking about. Now I remember the circus. <sighs> and again, the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. <laughs> no, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. <laughs> Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Fop. Weasel. Can I borrow a trampoline? <laughs> they're just, they're still going over there like that. Um. <clears throat> oh, that was quick. Once in a lifetime chance to perform an amazing feat, a death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really, a dangerous feat. Not not dangerous at all, an easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing, adventurous, acrobatic, and exceedingly well known, fabulous flying, the Ticini brothers, that's us. My brother Alfredo. My brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? Oh no. <laughs> all you have to do. Is get in the cannon <laughs> and we'll shoot you out of it across the room <laughs> quite safe actually so what do you say how much will you pay me never do it for free how about 478 pieces of eight okie doke <laughs> that sounds good have you got a helmet no will i need one all right, this is a quick way to make money. Gotta have a helmet. Can't do the can trick without a helmet. Ooh. No siree. Go get a helmet and then we can do the trick. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, but that would be good money because then I can buy the map and the sword and then I will be a happy unstuck camper. So helmet. Helmet's gonna be big. Want a helmet. Walk to path. No. Um, so it doesn't mean that we can go here. Let's go to- oh there's shore and island. Is there other stuff? My village. Okay. House. Lights. Okay. Let's go to shore first. Visit Fabulous Hook Isle, Restroom Souvenirs. Walk to cable, oh no. Walk to pole. Look up pole. It's just like the one on the other side, okay. Let's do this? I think I need a helmet for this. Let's use the cable with myself. Okay, um, I do not think that I have the required tools to cross this. So let's go back to the path. <laughs> um, can I go to the island? No. Design? Look at sign. Gaudy, but in a cheerful sort of way. It's my favorite sort of way. I love gaudy. Oh, who's this? Ugly pirate. Hold up. Let's go to the fork. Okay, there's a lot here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Person, 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 person. No, go to the ugly fire. Go to the ugly fire. Whatever, just go to the fork. Uh, what is happening over here? 
Walked a path, walked a path. Let's try the right path. Look at the plants. What an unusually bright yellow they are. Let's pick them. Lovely. Um, walk to path. I'm not going into this maze-like forest without a map or a guide or something. Great. I have found where I use the map and that's pretty exciting. <laughs> um, oh. What about this path? Great. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I will come back here. I- oh, and there's a ravine I can jump over. So I can't do any of the ugly pirate. Okay, yep, yeah, no. Let's go to the bridge. Let's go to the bridge. Hello. None shall pass. Stop, you must be a toll. Uh, I go behind you, a mouse. Damn it. It's good all along, you scurvy sea slug. Um, you can't pass until you pay the toll. How much is the toll? Well, what, what, what have you got? I've got some semi rancid meat that I want to keep. Two pieces of eight? I want something that will attract attention but have no real importance. Uh, rubber chicky with a pulley in the middle? <laughs> uh, construction paper jockey shorts. A monkey leash with three collars. My old moss-covered three-handled family credenza. I'll try to find something like that. You have three chances to give him what I want. Then, I eat you. Okay, I'm not gonna try this yet then. I want to see if I can get more stuff. Yeah, I gotcha. Lunch off ass. Okay, so that means I can't go over here. This seems to be a path that doesn't do anything. Okay, let's go back to village then. Hello, governor's mansion. Crack my back. All right, let's give meat to deadly piranha poodles. That seems to have done something. Wait. Dang it. It didn't let me move while they were eating. It took away my, um, took away my mouse. Actually, let me double check that there's nowhere else I can walk. Like, I can walk around the back door or something. Does not seem to be. All right, let's, oh wait, crap, now I'm stuck again. <laughs> um, uh, all right. All right, all right, all right. Um. I will continue double checking all of these locations and I will get back to you. <laughs> okay, there's like one pixel where I can look at this sign. It was not coming up very easily. Okay, employees only. Employees of what? What is this building? I'm very turned around. Can I walk over here? Like, really? Just. Like here, you can't do it, but like you have to be right over. Th it's. I missed that before, but it did. It wasn't exciting. <laughs> Ye oldie rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shop. <gasps> Serving a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle needs for over 50 years. That's everything I've needed. Why can't I go in? <laughs> I just need a sign. Let me in! Oh, okay, I'll go to these doors. Because they go to random places. I think that one puts me out there. Oh, this one might put me out 
I think over on the other side of that dude. No wait, that one, that was that one. So I don't know what this one does. Go in the door. Ooh, new room, beautiful. Um, look at this weird statue. No thanks, I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. That's legitimate. Look at the voodoo knickknacks. Let's see, there's a jar of fat droppings. A box that says assorted scales. A shaker full of monkey flakes. And some cat knuckles. Cat knuckles? How barbaric. <laughs> what is, what are, do cats have knuckles? Look at the chickens. Poor chickens. Right, let's look at the baskets. Gee, I wonder what's in these baskets. Can you like open the baskets? Actually, I'm not that curious to find out what's inside. I am, unless it kills me, right? Let's look at the couch. Looks comfortable in a spooky sort of way. Sit on it. Can we use the couch? No thanks, I can never fall asleep in strange places. Okay. Ooh, uh, another chicken. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Oh, I have a use, buddy. Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. Walk to trunk. Probably got a body in it. Let's open it. <sighs> no thanks, I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Okay. Um, chalice. Now this is the cup of carpenter. <laughs> um, can I pick up the chalice? No thanks. Okay. Oh, uh, is there any bones? Poor little thing. <laughs> Whatever it was. <laughs> um, pick up bones? <sighs> no, okay, no, I want to pick up bones. <sighs> okay, um, is there anything else? I can get past the, um, the bridge guy, so that's good. This is good. This is a fantastic start. If I can get out of here. Beautiful. Um, oh, I closed the door on myself. Um, or of my own accord. I didn't leave the door open like a, like a vagrant. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the troll. <laughs> Thanks, parrot. All right, buddy. Strap in, I'm gonna just blow your mind. That's pretty useless, but it's not what I want. What? How is that not what you want? That's exactly what you want. All right, I want something that will attract attention but have no real importance. Now I wanted to get the conversation options about all the various little knickknacks. I'm a mighty pirate? She says convincingly. <sighs> I can out insult anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. <laughs> What's that even me? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. <laughs> Um, so now I have a chicken with a pulley in the middle. What do I do with that? What do I do with the chicken with the pulley in the middle? And where do I get a helmet? And how would I fix the guy with bad breath? Ooh, oh man. I was so excitingly unstuck and the guy's like, nah, this isn't what we need. It's exactly what we needed. I, I was tempted to give him the meeting minutes because that is a pointless thing. But I didn't want to waste one of my three chances. I wasn't confident enough. I was confident on the chicken. I was confident on the chicken. All right, back to mindless exploring and revisiting of places that we've already visited. I'm just gonna patiently wait for the cook to leave so we can get back in the kitchen and get another hunk of meat. Hopefully get another hunk of meat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pick up hunk of meat. What if I use hunk of meat with the pot of stew? What if I just drop that in there? Walk to meat and stew. Look at meat and stew. Stewed meat. Um, pick up stewed meat. Sorry, pick up. Nope. 
Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so I have stewed the meat. I don't know if that will change anything. And then I still have this fish out here that's being pecked away by a bird, but I... It's a red herring. <laughs> I have a feeling that that's a red herring. <laughs> oh, now I have a, a, a pot. Okay, can I pick up the table? <laughs> okay, um... I this picture of the Pillsbury Doughboy. Um, can I pick up the barrel? I know I can't. Um, oh, can I use the pot on the barrel? I know, okay. So we do just want a mug to get the grog. All right, let's leave the kitchen. That was actually very useful. What if I... Okay, just trying to combine the uh, the meat and pot. Um, I'm going to go back to the governor's again and try the stewed meat on the dogs. And I'm going to pretend like that will work and I'm gonna just waste another thing of meat and I'm gonna have to go back and get more meat. But you know what? It's not much of a time cost to you. It's more of a time cost to me. I see you. Let's give Let's use to me with the poodles. It's probably the same thing. Okay, you will see I have no cursor now while they are doing this. I cannot move. And now that they are done with it, I'm gonna talk to them. Don't know what I expected. Um, what if I use the chicken on them? This is not the use for a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Oh my gosh, I know the use of the rubber chicken with the pulley in the middle. Get across the cable. Okay, okay. Now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. Boom. Love it. Let's do it. I'm so caffeinated. Oh, uh, now I have to get more meat. I'll get more meat on the way to um, the cable. Yep. Okay. This is This is working out beautifully. I'm gonna be proven wrong again, aren't I? <laughs> I wonder if I could find like two really good friends who would like dress up like the important looking pirates for Halloween. That could be fun. <laughs> Just all get beards. Or I could be the beardless one. And I could find two friends that are guys that have beards. Then that could be, that could be a look. That could be a look. No one would get it. Zero people would get the reference. I would not have gotten the reference until about a week ago, so. <laughs> Alright, that killed time. <laughs> oh, god. I won't go in the kitchen, sorry. Keep walking the way. That way. Alright, let's pick that up. Use hunker meat with the pot of stew. And then pick up the pot of stewed meat. And then... I'm good. To exit. Let's go get to that cable. Let's get to the island. So pumped! <laughs> get on top of that platform. This is such a good idea. And we're gonna use the chicken on the cable. Yeah, boy! Yes. All right, walk to the door. Open the door, open the door. Where are we going? Open, let's walk to the house. Oh, we don't get like a zoom in. Okay, just go into that building that's like really tiny. There, hello, friend. Hey, I don't like visitors. Who are you? I'm Bobbin Threadbare. Are you my mother? <laughs> I'm a pirate cannonball head, who are you? Excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here. Whoops, realized this is the wrong house. The sign did say that there were restrooms in here. I am just a, I'm a lost tourist. The sign's a little out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal axe tattoo demonstrations, souvenirs. But there was a little accident with one of the trained animals. One of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down. 
put out of business. And since then I've lived here all alone. The only company I have is the same beast that mauled that unlucky tourist. The same beast that made me a hermit. A monster that just by coincidence is identical to one that attacked me when I was just a child. And left me with these hooks instead of hands. A deformed man. Jeez, now I'm all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can't you just leave me alone now? <gasps> I'm Bob and Threadbare. Are you my mother? <laughs> no, your mother was a duck. <laughs> now beat it. I'm a pirate, cannibal head. Who are you? I don't want to depress you again, though. My name's Meat Hook. And I think you've got a little attitude problem. Well, I think you've got a little hair problem. <laughs> Jeez. I just don't know when to quit, do you? Obviously, neither did your barber. <laughs> Why, you? He has shown me out. Hey friend, I suppose you've come to evade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? I want to apologize for what I said. What was your name again, Baldy? <laughs> Look, I told you not to call me that. My name's Meat Hook. And you still have a little attitude problem. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you Cannonball Head. That's okay. I'd rather have a cannibal head than a pony t Sorry, I- Yeah, I mean, that's valid. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Hey, you've got a pretty good sense of humor. You want to see something really funny? <laughs> Any day. Any day. Yes, please show me, Mr. Meat. Oh my gosh. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. <laughs> this is tattoo. Pretty good, eh? I got a little routine, but I don't have the time to do it all right now. Oh, do it all right now. Please, maybe if we're ever on a long ocean voyage together. But until then, I'm a very busy man, so... Could you show me that Nudo tattoo thing again? Thank you. Well. Okay, but just one more time. Watch this. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. Does that do anything? I'm gonna watch it again. I'm gonna look at the, the tattooing again. And see if anything happens. Hello, Roger. <laughs> okay, that was enough. Whoops, this is the wrong house. My bad. Oh, well, okay. Have a nice time on Melee Island. Say goodbye, Roger. Goodbye, Roger. <laughs> what? Um, can I look at the house? Dingy. D dingy. <laughs> I, I can word. Um, so they got the cable, I got the pole. Can I do anything? Is there another path? Alright, um, can I... I'm just gonna use the chicken on the pole. Or on the cable. Get on back across. And I think that's gonna do it for today. I don't really have much more to try. Oh, I mean, I have a few. I have inventory items now, which is a big start. That is actually very good. It works both ways. That's some chicken. That's some chicken. Um, yes, I'm back to being slightly stuck, but look, I have, I was gonna say five, I have six inventory items that I can dick around with, so. There's a lot to um lot to unlock. I that was this was fun. I enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time in part three of Secret of Monkey Island.